can. I'm gonna check down here. There's a bunch of people over there. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Can we go over here? Yeah, we can. Cade Page, helps us does not need to know what's taking place here. The navigators are frightened enough by its power as it is. Alright, those who watch the videos later on. Pause. Pause if you want. I do so much reading. <laughs> Figured uh I don't have to read every little thing. Hard navigators can. Is there money to be made? Print of long clawed hands. I always have a backup plan. Blemished. Compared to naval service, that was barely a challenge. Operation successful. Elite Arcsman Gloves. Wear gains plus 15 ballistics, but it's Drukari. I don't tag about it. I don't think there's no Drukari. Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Keep your wits about right, you. Here we go. Halt to Stephanie's minions. I had to ally ourselves with the Xenos once more to stop you, no matter it is a small price to pay for the death of the cursed child. Why are they at Thrones Gold? Has a rogue trader led us into a trap? What's happening? Oh my god! What? Damn Xenos, this is not our bargain. We struck a th uh, We struck. Throne smite you. What does this mean? Has a rogue trader stooped so low as to lure the child and us into a trap? Great Regent Aranto uh, was wrong to trust you. Uh, wish you would enlighten us to what's happening here. You will stop defiling the remains of the hollow ground, our ancestors, with your semblance of speech, monkey. The final act will be soon uh, unfold where you will pay the deeds of your ancestors. Stay put and wait for the puppeteer to pull your strings. Why are the Xenos ruins here in the Palace of Atlas should be? Why is this place coated with impenetrable black mist? I am suffocating. Three-eyed monkey who sees into Sha'il. The taint of your ancestors has been begun to consume your body and soul. Pathetic fools with an insatiable lust for power that is not yours. And in your misery, be merciful. Taint, you mean the Atlas Xenos traitor? Silence, traitor. The Atlas is sacred relic house of Arcelio. It's what elevates us above the rest. How dare you? I refuse to accept this impossible. What is this place? We call planets such as this as Crone Worlds. It came to be long before my time, back when all the Eldari were a united people whose empire stretched from one edge of the galaxy to the other. It is a world beneath the first stars unblighted world i've never thought i would come to find one i have nothing to add to the outcast words other than my own eternal astonishment in your curious troop monkey what is this taint you speak of do you not see it when you monkey discover this crone world you tainted it with your crude technology despoiled it with relics ruined all that there was one last stone but worst of all, you sullied the souls of our ancestors who reposed in their sacred vessel, the spirit monolith. 
repair that thing. Like a sea of bottomless blue, I did not know that living thing could exude such saturated hues. I wish I could paint this ocean in a different color. Examine a crystal. Strange resonance from its place. You can sense the energy animating, animating from it. Uh, how do the navigators of House Orcilio taint it? The experiments. This is where she conducted her experiments. Persephone. No, it's not possible. The consort with the Xenos is to violate the word of the god emperor. It is known to all to Stephanie or Celia has executed anyone who showed any interest in the enemies of humanity. Is that so? Then why is that every piece of your metal or fabric has placed bearers of your house coat of arms in your eyes? Quiet. I'm unsurprised by the truth hidden from your gazes. Three-eyed monkey who sees into Sha'il. I realized it the moment that we met... Uh, that I've met the first of you. Wretched, begging us to help you destroy your own kin. I sensed it with you, our ancestors' call, their pleas, endless torment. I knew that when you found the... was a crone world, and I humbly waited for the day to lead me to it. What's the meaning behind your words? You know the answer already, Outcast. You always have. Uh, what have you always known? So that is why... That is why your presence makes my soul shrink to the size of a river pearl and my throat choke on the collar of thrones or thorns. That is why your words seep into my soul like poison, leaving wounds that will not heal. There is a shard of the spirit monolith inside you, monkey, twisted, perverted, invigorating you to make my ancestors suffer. Last, you are right, outcast. The ancestors of the three-eyed monkey sought to command the power of the spirit monolith. And yet they suffer failure time and time again. Eventually, they discovered a way to harness the power in a terrible way, torturous and unforgivable. They shattered the monolith into many shards and weakened the souls within. Then, then they placed the shards of the spirit monolith inside their bodies to empower their abilities. I never wished to learn such harsh truths about my house. Watch. You, you are more than just a tyrant's heir. You are a successor of a mad heretic, a betrayer of the faith, you must be destroyed and the Atlas once and for all. Now, you think the solution is so easy, don't you, monkey? When you die, your souls become captives inside the spirit monolith. This process is deranging to our ancestors who have served as monolith guardians for aeons. It is equally uh, agonizing to the souls of your dead, and more Banki souls the Monol absorbs, the more volatile it becomes. The Eldari and the Monki have spent many dancing battles of poor supremacy within the Monolith. His integrity is waning. You sense it too. The only way to free the ancestors from the pain is to separate the Monki's taint from the spirit Monolith. My troop is here to perform that. Uh, just that. While we'll play our parts today, the final act of this age-long tragedy begins with the monkey players will exit the world stage. Uh, there's no way... Uh, is there no way to separate the navigator's souls from those of the Eldari without killing one another? You monkey have desecrated our ancient world. I see no reason to assist you in the final dance. Uh, Cassie, what do you say to these Xenos assertions? I cannot change the past, it is true, nor can I change the fact that my house is forever tainted with the disgrace born of Josephine or Celio's use. Yet all of us here today have a power to change the future and halt the unending suffering that is drowning both your kin and mine. You, you suggest that Monkey, that Eldari change the future together? Must admit, my leading lady, I'm confused or confounded by your audacity. Go on. My Atlas, if you can free the phantoms of my house within the spirit monolith guide, uh, guide them to enter my Atlas. Their experience and wisdom will help steer House Arcelia into the path of truth. I will allow future generations to avoid the calamitous pitfalls of prayers. Hey, Morag, my leader, my leading lady. The shards of the monolith are lodged 
inside the chest of every monkey bound to you by ties of blood. How exactly do you intend to return them? I shall use the atlas to sever my subject's connection to the spirit monolith, and then I shall extract its shards from every navigator house or cilium. This artifact is implanted at birth, but does not mean that a ritual cannot be reversed. I witnessed it in the creation through Tersephone's, uh, Tersephone's eyes in my visions. I lived it over and over again. Through the memories of the Satala clan, I, I can recreate the ritual that would return the souls to your kin, uh, souls of your kin to you, and save my people's lives. Uh, Cassie, are you capable of doing this? I'm confident in my abilities, more so than before. Seldom do humans and Xenos get a chance to resolve their conflicts without violence. Yeah, I like hers. I'm willing to try, monkey. No, I won't let you destroy the atlas, even if the child's wish. Lady Ocelia, you are too young, inexperienced. You simply cannot comprehend. You address the future Novator of the House Ocelia, one who survived the massacre of Yurik V, who has lived the following attempt on her life in the Palace of Dargonus, who has restored her house stability, but scant time she has been free, while you, all of you, have spent years destroying it from within. You address one who has passed through the Tempest of the Sea of Souls to the true Atlas as a rogue trader's ally. Yet you still call me unworthy, don't you? Young and experienced, kneel before me and I shall forgive you of your insolence. Arso Cilia will always loyal to Novator to Stephanie. Henceforth, I will be loyal to her successor, even if it see fit to lead us down a different path. If you're done with your performance, monkey, stand aside, do not interrupt. the truth. I can feel again the tranquility. Tr ancestral souls have found peace and corruption no longer endangers the monolith of this world. Remember our agreement, Cassio Arcelio. We will soon meet in this place again. So you can give us the shards. And now, be gone from our world. Dr. Cassia. I mean, I might as well just loot all these dead guys, right? Always keep your eye on the price. Oh, let's go. Gotta talk to Cassia on the ship. Then we gotta go to Footfall. She is down here. Oh, how nice of you to grace me with your presence. I was just thinking back to our journey to the Palace of the Atlas. That is, to the world of Xenos. <laughs> Remembering that most reckless act has enveloped my mind in a whole palette of hues. When I think of the great risk you took for House Orcelio's and my own sake, an azure shawl instantly descends on my shoulders, and amber sparks flash inside my soul. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. What awaits the navigators of your house now? The Xenos have managed to free the souls of our ancestors from their confinement. The memory and wisdom of those that came before us will serve our house, Helping build upon the ruins of the present, a firm foundation for generations to come. I believe in that, 
as I believe in the divine light of the Emperor. So, so now you're a full-fledged Novator of the House of Celio? You of all people should know that succession is a lengthy and tiresome process. <sighs> While my entire house is busy preparing for a grand council at which I am to ceremonially inherit the late Tisiphone's title, I have decided to remain by your side. To relish just a little more of this carefree liberty. For as soon as I am summoned to do my duty, we must say our farewells. So now the entire power of the Atlas is in the Novator's hands? I suppose so. If by power you mean priceless knowledge. As for the special powers granted by the Xenos souls, the navigators of House Orcelio will once again have to contend with their own bodily and spiritual limitations. However, I am undaunted by the prospect, for our line and our gene have never been weak. House Orcelio will succeed, and soon we will rise again, draped in white and gold. Of course, I will try to answer any questions you have. Okay. I have here. enjoyed your company. All right. So, companion quests done. We gotta go to football. Let's go. Okay, so. Rebundus. Right. Once let's go to here. Man, some of these loads takes way too long. I always keep my options open. Uh, before we go any further, let's quickly do our level up. Got this all their might for a crushing strike. Don't need if I need to push them back. Gains a slash ability with an agility. No, 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 my agility is terrible. Gains a five times strength bonus to armor penetration and strength bonus damage. Ignores. Until the start of the Psyker's next turn, all allies affected by the word of the Emperor increases the deflection. Oh, 
Gotcha. Till the end of combat, the target recovers Psychic Psy rating plus willpower bonus wounds at the beginning of each of their turns. Removes the top. Yeah, let's do that. And I guess Crouch the best bet. Touch of anger. All enemies in one cell radius around target point must pass willpower resistance or the stun or immobilized. Every enemy becomes the target of the navigator's power. Same combat. Gain a stackable 20 bonus to willpower resistance test against it. Navigator creates a circle, three cell radius. Any creatures inside that enters and their turn inside, not under the effect of apathy, makes willpower resistance or immobile. And it becomes cursed until the end of combat. Cursed. All incoming warp damage is increased. Target suffers 3 plus navigator's willpower bonus damage at the start of their turn. At the end of their turn, they must pass a willpower test, moving the flames. Burn them. Target ally gains toughness. This is a hit chance of the next... I don't know if that's going to work. I'm going to try to emulate the soul. And, uh, Abby. So it can't be used the same time you charge. Warrior dashes through to the enemy cell on the enemy's opposite side. It makes an melee attack with a 50% reduced damage. Can be applied only once for the target. Try that. New athletics. Spends all their AP and mana and gains 30% bonus to cover efficiency. Next time the soldier uses run and gun, they gain back all their AP and mana points plus one additional AP. Also resets. So basically, you're doing nothing for one round. You get it all back. It's too concentrated. And demolition. One exploit from each enemy in a five cell radius around. If there's only one enemy in the area, the operator removes all exploit stacks from that enemy. All allies gain a plus or plus two times the number of removed exploits from armor until the end of combat. And Lord Zenos. Let's give you some hit points, right? Pretty low hit points. Power weapon and a melta gun. I think I already learned those, so I don't think I'm gonna get any benefit from them. Uh, I'll give you something for grenades.
Target hits the attack. All enemies in a five cell radius around that. The damage dealt by the intimidated enemy is reduced to the operator's next turn. This negative effect is doubled on enemies within less. That. And. I guess. Medicaid? For that. Here we go. Let's go talk to him. Greetings, your lordship. Time it is impeccable. May the Emperor grant you strength and some time to rest, Lord Inquisitor. We loathe to trouble our masters with prayers of such an indulgence, especially such an utterly inappropriate and fraught time. Sister, may your path be blessed. Gratifying to see the trials endure the expanse, I failed to extinguish the flame with her too. Leave Navigator Cassia. I hear that the House of Celia is going through a difficult time. Change is coming. I sincerely hope it's for the better. Your colors, Lord Inquisitor, are as rich as they are multifaceted. I've never encountered anything like it before. And clouded hues flowing from one to the next. Amazing harmony, amazing and frightening. That such a man of your status and talents has taken an interest in the well-being of a... Uh, an Abbas Nobelite house. Great honor. What is the current situation? The Cult of the Final Dawn and the Drukhari Raiders are vying with each other to see who can cause the greatest turmoil. I have mobilized all the forces I can repel the attacks, which is why we're still alive. Combined with militia brigands are hunting the Xenos, guarding convoys, expeditionary platoons under my command, and are crushing heretic rebellions. The situation is unstable, but I will not pretend that I was prepared for a crisis. However, I have not lost our thing yet. Why has the Cult of Final Dawn become more active? Warp is raging. Its baleful sign always pretends change. Crisis beget desperation. Most fertile ground for heresy. Only the arch enemy servants think their time has come. Or perhaps this day as marked in their profane scripture as the date of the end of their existence. I will not trouble myself with further attempts to make sense of the blasphemous doctrine. They are bent on destroying us all, so they must be destroyed. What has prompted the Drukhari to act so brazenly? Prisoner interrogations indicate that a relative major political upheaval has taken place in Kamora. The cabal of the Reven Tempest has lost its grip on authority and has become the target of four enemies and rivals. Many vassals and members of the cabal decided that fleeing to real space were preferable to waiting Kamora to be killed. Have you mobilized all forces, but not House Von Balancius? You are not uh, you are not standing before me now. While your status remained unclear, I prefer not to be requisitioned. Uh, requisitioned the resource of the Von Balancius Protectorate. Your people dealt with Burlon the cruel agents with the Xenos raids, and that was enough for me. But now is the time we might add your talents to the scales. I understand. I see no need bogged down in details. I praise your of all your information I currently possess. I would require one uh, more time than we have. Well, I escaped Kamora where I was being held captive by the Xenos. To escape from a dark city? A feat I have accomplished. Truly, I congratulate you on the exceptional performance. And I would not even mar the triumph by telling you that the Inquisition will, of course, be watching you very closely henceforth. I sincerely hope that your grand escape was not part of the Xenos deepest machinations. It's very suspicious of everyone. 